What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the next Warobots test server session this weekend. And if you're like Manny, where's your usually intro and energy? I'm sorry, ladies and gents, I had surgery this Wednesday. A uh, hernia, nothing serious, but it still hurts. Uh, and I can't go full-on energy overdrive mode right now. Uh, so I'll be a little bit more calm and quiet today. But I still want to inform you about all the latest information on the test server. For example, we do have many new things now. We have the high graphics preset. Uh, on the War Robots uh, test server now. However, it does not allow me to choose 60 frames per second and high. So only 30 frames with high. All right, let's go with it, see how it goes. We have a new robot called Revenant uh, that is similar to a scorpion. It can teleport in front of the enemy. Um, and uh, to be honest, I was never a friend of the fact that a uh, the scorpion can just teleport behind people uh, or even two people in first place. This one can do it too. He also activates uh, immunity too. However, uh, hold on. Uh, damage over time, suppression freeze, rooting, so uh, lockdown, blast and EMP. And it also keeps maintainability with hull, whatever that means. Uh, it also has two light, one heavy weapon and apparently a lot of HP. Uh, let's see how uh, how this thing is going to look how when it's in combat. We're going to test this. And there is a Titan defense module now, the anti-control. We all know what anti-control does. Prevents lockdown, suppression and so on. However, this one on the Titans also gives you 9% HP boost, similar to the plated armor kit. Which means you have a universal super module now that provides you bonus, bonus health and immunity to lockdown and suppression and all that. If you have two anti-controls, you're fully immune. If you have just one, you're only immune for five seconds, and then for five seconds, you're vulnerable to those effects again. Uh, the Sharenga cannot use two of them because there's only one universal slot and no defense slots. Defense slots can take it and universal slots can take it, but no assault slots. And so I'll go with the Minos this time. Um, and also, of course, we're jumping into battle now. Anything I forgot? Oh yeah, there's the uh, uh, orbital strike stuff that nobody wants that's still in the game. Um, and it's still being tested and we all want it to go away, but it's still here, unfortunately. Uh, also, there's the light version of Tox of Bane now called Toxin, right? It's this one here. Uh, let's test uh, the uh, the thingy. Let's, let's go and test the new Revenant robot. This is how it looks like. Looks like a... I don't know what it looks like. What is that even? How would you describe the looks on this thing? It's a little weird, right? And it can, apparently it can teleport two enemies. Can it teleport two enemies through walls? Yes, it can. At 500 meters, apparently. Yeah. At 500 meters, it can teleport two enemies. Does it have physical shields? And then there's a shielded ability, too. I don't know what that shield is. Also, you see the, the flame, uh, the, the firepower. Wait a minute, I was invincible? Was I just invincible for that entire time? Is that what they meant when they said it keeps maintainability of its hull? That you're literally invincible? There was a, a shield symbol on my ability button and I think what it meant is that I couldn't take damage. You see, I'm full HP. Uh, let's check this out again, okay? Let's see what's gonna happen here. We have a scorpion. I'm gonna jump somewhere. Scorpion is here now. All right. Yeah, I think I'm immune to damage now. Yeah, I, I cannot take damage. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I do take damage now. Maybe I only take a little. Uh... All right. Anyways, to uh, Toxin and Bane seem to have gotten a little more useful now. Uh, they do seem to be doing a little more damage. I still need to figure out how the ability on the Revenant r works, uh, to be honest, because I, I don't fully understand this. Let's see what this guy... Whoa, where is he going? Uh, I don't know. He, he allowed me to get up here. Nice. Thank you, sir. Oh, man, my, my stomach hurts from the, uh, uh, from the surgery. Okay, we have uh, a couple of enemies here. Oh, boy. Oof. Let's get away from these dudes. Wait a minute. Why am I full HP? Why am I 100% HP again? I was damaged, wasn't I? There's a lot of, uh, oh man. Trying to deal some damage here, but they all have stealth, of course. Let's jump on him. I don't want to be up here if I can't hit people from there. Hi, dude. How's it going? Yeah, there we are. Yeah, boop, and there we go. So, I have a lot of bonuses running to the left side. Oh yeah, that's that's the, the uh, immunity to lockdown, suppression, and all those things, right? You can't uh, take any of those effects. 
Yeah, I think they have made the uh, the Toxin and Bane uh, a little bit more useful in how much damage they, they do. What was that effect? Something just happened to me. I don't know what it is. Some glow. Is it... Oh, is it maybe because the, the thing now that I have, the, the, the nuclear amplifier thingy that is now activated? Wait a minute. It can't be activated yet, though. Okay, we have an enemy coming in there. Uh-oh. And a Titan. Okay, I'm gonna try and jump away there. Rather... Actually, I'm gonna jump on the enemy. I am taking damage, though. I am taking damage. I'm not immune, but I somehow am seem to be able to re reload all my HP. By the way, we have a uh, double damage now activated almost. I think he should be going down. We're also losing a lot of health now. Okay. I need to get my healing module activated. There we go. All right. And dealing damage. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can I seem to be able to stay in the game for as long as I want. Somehow. Um Oh boy, now I'm losing HP though. Oh, you know what? I think this thing also has physical shields, yeah. The things that you see on the side of this thing are actually physical shields. I just lost all my physical shields, but he has them. This thing does have physical shields. What is he doing? And why am I back on 60% HP? What is going on? I was down to low HP so many times already. And somehow I'm back to HP now. It seems like every time I activate my ability, I get a maximum HP boost. Let's pay attention to this. What's that sound effect? Is that the Bane and the Toxin? It's very weird. Those sounds are super weird right now try and get this dude yeah it must be the bane and toxin i think he's going down from the toxin this guy as well please come on sir yeah all right i'm obliterating the entire enemy team here it seems uh, but i've lost pretty much all my weapons oh my goodness hello da uh, death okay so that was one robot that we have used until this entire time let's let's use the minos here for a little bit because we have the uh, ta anti control thing on the titan Oh my goodness, am I slow? Is that is that really is that, am I really this slow? Jeez. Uh, let's run in and try and gain gain some. Uh, I want to get this guy. All right, here we go. Nice. I have my reflector ready, so when he starts to fire at me, I'm activating the reflector. Okay, and he's going in cover. That's a good choice that he makes there, right, right there. My reflector is gone. Is that the other Titan? Yeah, it is. Is he coming? No, he's not. Oh, wait, he's in the game. I thought he was out of the game. I expect the uh, Minos to be... Uh, the the uh, Aochun to be on me in a minute. And it's Ao Ao Ming, I mean. Okay, here we go. Activating reflector again. And as you know, nobody can lock me or suppress me. I'm literally immune to any of those effects now. Here's a Raven Revenant. I wanted to say Ravana. He's gonna probably teleport somewhere in a minute. What was that effect? Uh, oh, it's apparently that's uh, the, the orbital support thing providing some kind of bonus. So yeah, the Revenant has physical shields. That's the, that looks like wings on the sides. It, it's actually physical shields apparently. So that's one thing to uh, to keep in mind. Uh, and then secondly... Um, yeah, secondly, he can teleport to you at 500 meters through walls. No, that, I think that's a bad idea. I think it, it, it to the 350 meter teleport range of the Scorpion is already a problem. Because remember, there are setups like Furies, Behemoths, uh, Snipers that remain, that need to remain away from the enemy that need to play careful and not let the enemy get close enough. If you allow so many robots now to literally teleport to them, what point does a behemoth or a fury have in the future? What point does a vortex aphid or thermite setup have that only has 350 meters range but an enemy can teleport to you where your weapons don't work one bit at that short range and they can just delete you and, and teleport further than you can reach with your weapons? That's nonsense. So, um... 
Yeah, uh, in my opinion, teleport range is a big issue. Uh, I, I think it should not be possible to teleport to enemies through walls to begin with. Not Also, the Scorpion should not be able to do that. Um, and this thing with 500 meters teleport range, in my opinion, big problem needs to be ch uh, needs to be changed. I think I don't think that should be possible to teleport 500 meters, and then have a robot with massive physical shields apparently, and some kind of weird immunity to all negative effects, and somehow able to Im be protected from damage or be able to constantly heal back all damage. I don't even know what exactly we just uh, seen here in the game. Uh, we have tested the anti-control. Obviously, there isn't anything in the test server now that suppresses and locks you down, right? Um, it, on the live server, we would test this a much better because uh, we have the drones that suppress and lock you the whole time, right? But there's nothing of this sort or almost nothing of this sort here on the test server. Therefore, I wasn't really getting suppressed or locked anyways. However, the module gives you boost to health, so it's, it's a good you know, a universal thing to have uh, definitively on the robot, and I think this might be a really good Mino setup right there. Um, in my opinion, again, too powerful. Everything that comes into... Is there anything in the game now coming in that I can agree with? Like, seriously, I find myself disagreeing with pretty much anything Pixonic adds to the game now. I disagree with the fact that this module provides you with health, because it makes the actual health module useless when this one gives you immunity to all negative effects. Can I please go to the left? Thank you. Uh, it, it provides you with negative effects to all kind of things and gives you the same amount of health. What's the point in having a Titan armor uh, module from this point on, right? Why does this thing can teleport 500 meters, has physical shields, has lots of firepower, some kind of weird immunity against anything and somehow super lots, uh, lots of uh, HP regeneration or whatever, I don't know. Um, seems also it seemed too dominant. I was able to brawl through the entire enemy team without losing my robot or even once or actually I lost it very late as And I wasn't even running a very powerful setup, right? I wasn't running a uh, super powerful Havox and Scatter or maybe Ember and Blaze I was just running those new uh, Bane and Toxic. They're okay But I think I don't think they're like insanely super powered and I was still able to do really well Anything I forgot in this uh, here toxin ban anti-control. No, I think I've covered it all uh, yeah, I'm very sad to say I think that I, I, I have to disagree with everything. Uh, I, I freaking hate the orbital support. That stuff needs to go. Drones are a big a big uh, a disaster in the game, especially with the absorber shields and the constant suppression and lockdown that they pro that they just passively provide you with. Orbital support should exit the game instantly. Uh, the the uh, um, high preset, I, I'm not sure if I've noticed any difference. Did, did we see any difference? I, I may have to pay attention to this once more, uh, to the high preset. Maybe it was just the map uh, that we had. Um, but uh, should I play another match? Maybe. Yeah, let's let's just enter one more uh, and go in. Uh, okay, we have a high preset here. Let's test the revenant with. Um, yeah, what what module do I have on this? I don't even know. Let's test the revenant with the actual flamethrowers, which may be a more powerful setup overall. Uh, we have healing module on it, so that's pretty good. And also, I think every time I activate healing, I get more HP because I have the, the right module for this. Again, excuse me for being so, uh, you know, so less energetic this time. I really can't go any crazier than this because it's... See, it's, see I think this may be a behemoth right there. Look what I'm going to do to him. Okay. That's... Whoa, what the heck? Why am I flying? Dude, what is happening? Uh, okay, I'm activating healing now, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know why, but the robot can heal back all damage. That's what they meant with maintain ability, uh, uh, repair ability or whatever on the hull. You, all damage you take during your ability is damage that you can repair back. You can repair all of that damage back. So we have our physical shields that need to protect us now. I have to reload my my weapons here. Okay, let's try and get this dude for as long as we can. All right, let's get out of his 200 meters range because remember we have 350 meters. He only has 200 meters range. I lost one of my physical shields. He's gonna jump on me in a second, but he's got 500 meters jump range. So, uh, where is he? What the heck? Where do you go? He didn't jump on me. Did he jump on somebody else? Let's jump on him there. Again, flamethrower is probably really powerful because they can bypass um, shields 
Also from the Revenant, the, the shields will be bypassed. Uh, this time I won't be able to easily heal back everything. Uh, but I can start healing now. Oh, I have the, uh, the support ability here. I just used it. Provided me with more health. And, uh, a shield apparently too. Uh, the drone, uh, not the drone, the, the sub orbital support. You know what? Let's let's try and combine the orbital support healing with the ability from this robot because it gives me the ability to heal back all my damage, right? Is that what it does? I think it does. I think that's what it does. It gives me the ability to heal back all damage. So let's activate healing after teleporting on somebody. I think that means we can start healing back everything, right? No, actually, I think it only works... Uh, to the damage you suffered during that one ability run. Oh, I'm insta-locked. That's a problem. Alright, we're gonna die here. Uh, the lockdown he had was the was the instant killer right there. Um, let's jump over there. Alright, we have the toxin and the, the other thing. So, I'm inside his shield. But I can't really deal a lot of damage there. I think his shield should drop now. Yep, there it is. Uh, we're not really doing a lot of damage here, I must say. Here comes the flamethrower dude again. Again with lockdown. He's done it again. Okay. I am doing a bit of damage to him, but not really that much. His, his robot is simply more powerful right there with the flamethrowers that counter my physical shields. There isn't anything I can do. This guy would kill me five times in a row, no problem. It's, he's so much more powerful than the setup that uh, we were running with the Re Revenant there. Because his flamethrowers simply completely bypass uh, the thing. He's basically equipped a setup that's the hard counter to the Revenant. Okay. Uh, okay. Physical shields also and energy shields and everything. Oh, that's a lot of power that these guys are just bringing in here. Okay. Uh, oh boy. I'm healing up and adding myself some shield, I guess. Yep, I just got some nice healing. From the Titan uh, orbital support thing. Okay, I guess I'm getting an airstrike now. Or what was that? Okay. Oh, he's timing me out. Okay. Uh, bam. 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 Nice. Got him. Then activating reflector here, giving myself health and shield. Hopefully in time. Yep. Uh, but I'm uh, getting hit by all those titans at the same time here. Alright. So the match is over. I think I was able to test everything that the test server had in store for us. Uh, but overall, um, I don't like the low flame frame rate from the high preset, and I didn't really see a graphical difference. Maybe some maps have it more like... I think Canyon might have the water inside. Maybe this is something we should test. Can we go into uh, the custom game and check out Canyon? Because I know that Canyon was supposed to get water. Uh, but that was supposed to happen with the high preset. So let's test this. See if it's if, if it's there. Oh yeah, there it is. I think I've seen it. Yeah, there's water. Look. Oh my God. Yeah, Canyon looks awesome now. Look at the new uh, this the visual effects, dude. This is awesome. I think I may have to make a separate video about the high preset here. This looks pretty nice. You see much more details on the ground. Uh, you see much more. Uh, lighting effects and, and reflections on the ground as well. And I think we have finally have actual water in the canyon. If this is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, look, it's like muddy. It's wa it's muddy water. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think I may make a separate video about this uh, to show all the uh, maps here with the high graphic presets. Um, definitely interesting to see. Um, but uh, I rather have the. I, I must say, I personally more importantly, or I find 60 frames per second gameplay more important than max graphics. So, if if that was the cost of it, that you cannot go with 60 frames and the high preset, then I would go with a performance preset and 60 frames per second. Let's see if it works both together in the future. 
Uh, but other than that, I think I've given the feedback to the robot, Revenant, uh, and uh, also to, um, to the Titan uh, module. Uh, the uh, Bane looks like it has been uh, fixed to be more useful now. Uh, I think it's better. Uh, it's, it doesn't seem completely overpowered right now. It seems to be a really, really nice weapon. Uh, let's see when it's like fully maxed how strong is the corrosion then, right? We're gonna see. Uh, although I'm not sure if corrosion even changes with a leveled weapon. I think the initial damage changes. Corrosion doesn't, right? Does it say about... Oh yeah, yeah, the physical shields have 240,000 HP. Oh, or... Yeah. Is this one of the shields or both of the shields? Huh. Anyways, interesting uh, robot, but I don't agree with the teleport ability. I'll be uh, calling an end to the video now, uh, and uh, hopefully you ladies and gentlemen have a great weekend ahead of you. I'll be trying to, uh, you know, um, get, my, get myself some rest, and we'll see each other in the next video. Have a good one, everybody, and bye-bye.